Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can animate cameras inside Unreal Engine and export your animation. If you're jealous and you want to have this view just like me, like this cinematic stuff, you can click on perspective and switch from the viewport type to cinematic. So usually it's on default. Let's switch it to cinematic. What I like to do is to find where I have this map saved and I make here a new folder called cinematics. And inside this folder called cinematics, I made shot one, two, three, four, and five, and so on, and the master sequence. And I usually add my related cinematic stuff here. To do these, you can whether right click, go to animation, create a level sequence, name it whatever you want, or you can click on cinematics another level sequence and specify where you want to save it or you can also make a new folder from here so we'll call this guy shot underscore point five or five in this case we will save it and the sequencer will open to you the sequencer think about it like adobe premiere or after effects here you have your tracks this means you can add actors in here in our case now we were gonna add a camera and to add a camera we go to place actors cinematic just click and drag our camera somewhere and you will see it here now let's click this guy and just snap it to the to the view here so it can be permanently here part of the user interface this is what i love about unreal engine you can customize your ui as much as you like now let's click f to zoom to our camera press g to disable game view and this is our camera you can add the camera to the sequencer in two ways. You can go to the word outliner, click on the camera and drag it to the sequencer and you have it here. It will add camera cuts for you and the camera. Or you can select the camera here, click on track, add actor to sequencer. You can either search or if you have it selected, you can just add it from here. And this is our camera. There is a third way apparently. Adel is with me on Discord. This is how we make our tutorials. And this way you can click on the camera and click control and drag it to the viewport and it will add automatically for you. I was like, wow. Now, click F again, press on F, let's just move our camera somewhere. Now this is our camera, it's in our sequencer. If you click on this arrow, you can go to the camera component and here you have the settings in the details tab, they are here and they can be animated. Let's go to transform, go to location and rotation, let's say, and just click on this button to add a keyframe. Now your keyframes might look like this. This is because I like the default key interpolation on my keyframes to be set to linear. In your case, it's set to cubic. And to change this, you can press on four, so it will change it for you, one for cubic, two for cubic user, three for cubic break, you can see the color changes, and number five is to constant. So let's make this linear, let's move it to zero, let's go five seconds forward and animate this. Let's actually go inside the camera and like, yeah, do this and look at this. Boom, this is your animation here. So slightly too short so let's make it only three seconds too fast yeah too slow sorry let's make it three seconds let's say let's type here 90 and click play nice do this multiple times so you have shot number one like this shot number two and shot number three So one final tip, when you create your shots, shot 1, shot 2, shot 3 and so on, you don't have to create a new sequencer for each shot and then add the camera and all the things manually. So for example, when I made this shot and call it, let's say, shot 4, it's completely empty and in this case now we need to search for our camera, add it again and so on, like do everything all over. What you can do, and it's much easier, is just clicking on one of your existing shots, select a shot with camera you like and just Ctrl W to duplicate the shot and it will name it automatically for you and here you have everything set up you have the same camera and now let's find a new shot or a new place we like so let's say this for example and just quickly move it and save it this is another shot here I quickly duplicate this one twice and I just make a completely new shots here so this is shot one it's very fast three seconds each one two three Want to make a fourth shot you just ctrl w double click you have the same shot as shot three just delete the keyframes and uh, find the new place you like let's say uh, this add a keyframe 
again to the location and the rotation click on transform add a new keyframe it will add to all uh, tracks and now move this let's say 90 sec uh, 90 frames forward and make sure to activate auto keyframes now when we move the camera like this it will add the keyframe for us automatically see let's make a new sequencer call it the master something and just click this guy click on shot number one click and drag you have shot number one if we move our playhead let's put it here for example click another shot and it will be placed in front of it so let's do the same uh, here for shot three you can of course select multiple shots together and just play them they will be placed like this so to render this what we have here you can uh, click on render this movie to a video select the extension you want whether it's an AVI or an image sequence save it wherever you want and click on capture movie one other way you can also render these shots is go to window cinematics and movie render queue and you can just select and drag your shots and give them some settings and stuff click export what we like to do as well to make our cinematics i'm gonna link some of them in the description is adding the music directly to our timeline so i just import this as an example and this will help us making even better videos because now we can also visualize and see the music here this is extremely helpful when you export you won't have the music you can add the music again in post-production that would be it i don't think this is a quickie tutorial but at least now you know how to create a camera a sequencer put some shots together thank you guys for watching see you soon take care